Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The last um, video I did, we made the large jumbo tags. And today I wanted to show you how to embellish them. Um, this is an example of a jumbo tag that I have embellished. Doesn't have a lot of embellishing, but it really doesn't need a whole lot. So I just wanted to show you how to make those. This one has a pocket in the back. You can see it has a pocket here in the back and then it has a belly band and it has a fussy cut flower and a swan stamp here on the front. So let's get started. I'll show you how to make that. Now, if you have never made a jumbo tag before, I would recommend you look at my last video where I show you exactly how to make these. They're a lot of fun to make and they're really cute. So here's my jumbo tag. And again, if you're not sure how to make these, just go check out my last video. And I explain exactly how these are made. But you're gonna take another piece of scrapbook paper of your choice. And I'm gonna find, let's see, what do I want here? I'm gonna look for a piece of scrapbook paper. And it can be any scrapbook paper. It doesn't have to be like themed like the one that I have. You can, if you're more into vintage or black and whites or anything like that, I say go for it. Just, you know, do what you like. So, I'm going to get another piece of scrapbook paper. And since this is three and a half across, I'm just going to cut a quick three and a half inch strip. You can do it with scissors. However, I'm just gonna see if I can do this real quick with, I just need a line here. That's about three and a half. And I know that is really crooked, <laughs> but we'll fix that. So we have our strip. We only need a little bit of it, so. What I'm gonna do is line it up here with our tag and I'm gonna fold it just so that I know exactly where I wanna make my cut. So there's my fold. I'm gonna grab some scissors and I'm gonna cut along the line. And I can set that extra paper to the side. And next, just to make it interesting. Now you can ink with pink or brown or vintage. Now this is a Tim Holtz Distress Oxide ink and it is called Spun Sugar. And it's a light, like a light pink. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on this pink. I just want to ink around the sides to see what this looks like. So it gives me a light, a very light pink blush color. I'm not 100% satisfied with this. So what if I use my vintage photo the brown and just kind of go over the edges. Yeah, that makes it come out a little bit more. I like that. And it goes well, yeah, I like that. The edges. So now I want to make sure, yep, that lines up. I'm gonna take my two inch 
circle punch. I'm going to kind of eyeball this to make sure it's kind of the center of the square. And then I'm going to punch my hole there. And again, I'm just going to take some ink, which you can ink after the hole is punched, but for some reason I didn't, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put some pink on there and then a little bit of brown. All right, now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna glue the sides. I am using tacky glue. You can use whatever glue you have, whatever glue works for you. This is just what I have on hand, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to place that pocket right on the front of the chunky tag. And you can use a ruler or whatever you have. So then it looks like this. Now I'm going to look for another piece of scrap paper, like a thinner piece. I, I know a lot of people have strips laying around and I know I have a lot of strips laying around. So I think, I don't know if I wanna use this green or if I wanna use this. What do you guys think? I kind of like this one. What would it look like if we... Ooh, I kind of like... Ooh, I kind of like that. So, if you are on the line about what kind of paper to use, why not use both? <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. So, I see... Now, both of these look good with this, but I kind of like both of them. So what I'm gonna do is put one, I really didn't need to put glue on both sides, but I'm going to attach these together. That way I have the best of both worlds, right? Okay, you see that? And all we're gonna need is a bit we're gonna fold that flap over the back that always helps me when I'm trying to get a straight belly band if you fold it over the side of whatever you're gonna glue it to it allows you to cut out a perfect belly band for your pocket. Now I'm going to ink and I might have to use both inks now since I use both inks for my pocket. So I'm going to use the pink and now the vintage photo. Just go around a little bit. And we're going to glue both ends down, down. So guys, uh, guys, I hope you're getting out this summer and enjoying some of this beautiful weather we're having. It's a good time to get outside. I don't know how the, I don't know what the weather is where you are, but we've been having some really beautiful weather. So I hope you're, if you're having beautiful weather, I hope you're able to get out and enjoy it. Now this is a, f a flower that I fussy cut and I attached some cardstock to the back for sturdiness. But 
it appears to be too large for this. So I may have to cut one of the flowers off. Let's see how this is gonna work. We're gonna cut one of the flowers off and try to keep a leaf attached to make it look as normal as possible, right? I think that could pass, do you think? And if I could just ink around that, I think it would be okay. Let's just see. So here's our flower. What if we, I don't really know how to turn this. Hmm. What if we just stuck it to the side like that? Right? I kind of like that. So let's just take some glue and put some right in the corner because it's going to hang off and that's that's perfectly fine. So we're going to take some glue and we're going to stick that right in the corner. I'm going to press it. Um, I'm gonna press that down. Oh, hey, I like that. Okay, and then for the finishing touch, oh, let's put a stamp on there, see if I can find a stamp. Now, let me tell you the interesting story about these stamps. I went to Joann's when they had their paper sale. I think it's like 20 for $2 or something. I don't know. And they had paper. I'm sure you've seen it. The paper that has the tiny stamps on it. And there's like a billion, not a billion, but <laughs> there are a lot of stamps on one sheet of paper. Well, I cut each and every individual stamp out. So now I have a ton of stamps and I think that's wonderful. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is ink around the sides and I probably need to straighten up the sides. But yeah, so I backed it with some cardstock. I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember cardstock. I'm gonna clean up the edges here. Yeah, so I just um, I put the piece of the uh, piece of scrapbook paper on some cardstock, and I cut out each individual stamp. It's like I can use these forever. So look at that. This is a 16 cent stamp for. And it has like the ocean on it. it, says USA. Okay, I'm gonna stick that one. Do I even want this? This one's blue. Hmm, now I don't know if I wanna, I think I wanna change my mind here. No, I don't think it matters. We'll just use this one. So, so indecisive today. Okay, so here's my stamp. I'm just gonna attach that to the front. And I am going to find my reinforcement labels. Now, these are reinforcement labels you can find at any office supply store, you know, Walmart or anything like that. I actually got mine from Walmart. So, and what I do is dye them or ink them. And I wanted them pink, so I just put some pink on there. Now, if I even use my other tags, I'll show you how this works. So you have a belly band there in the front, and then you have a pocket in the back for a tag, and there you have it.
There is your jumbo tag with a pocket and a belly band. And I think they are really, really cute. Yeah, so if you are interested in making those, I would like for you to try them. This is, um, you know, I'm sure people have made these, but um, this was something that I was working on and I thought I would share it with you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new here, thank you so much for watching and I would love for you to subscribe and to all my subscribers, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you. Oh, and before I go, I just wanted to show you my uh, reinforcement labels. You know, when you make the tags and you need to put the reinforcement labels on, you know, you just get the white reinforcement labels and then you use your Distress Oxide. This is what I did. Use your Distress Oxide and just ink them. Throw some ink on there. You do the same for the brown. Put some ink on there and you have colored reinforcement labels. Isn't that cool? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have not, um, if you have not seen my 100 subscriber video yet, please go and check it out. I would love to enter you into our 100 subscriber drawing for lots of beautiful craft supplies. And thank you so much guys for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.